Local biotech company is ready to make the move from research to production, and Janesville is one of the candidates for the manufacturing plant. NBC 15's Zach Schultz has more. It could be a perfect marriage, a company that needs production space and workers in a city that desperately needs jobs. The deuterium plasma is then formed into an ion beam. It may look like something out of a science fiction movie, but this neutron generator is the key to Shine Medical Technologies' leap from a company with an idea to a company with a product. It's accelerated by this column right here, which is a 300 kilovolt uh, static electric accelerator. The beam line starts with a microwave and ends with the isotope molybdenum 99, a byproduct of which is used to diagnose cancer and cardiac issues. It's used in over 50,000 medical procedures a day in the U.S. alone. David Weisberg is president of Shine and says they will be the only U.S. manufacturer of Molly 99. Currently, it's produced at nuclear reactors in Canada and the Netherlands, both of which are old and recent breakdowns have caused shortages. We're now just scaling it up from a research level to a full production level. Shine is looking to build a manufacturing plant, and Janesville is one of the cities in the running. It makes a lot of sense from a cost of doing business versus proximity that you can keep the R&D in Madison, but certainly have the manufacturing operations here. Shine needs a solid workforce, a local technical school for trading, and an airport for freight shipping. Janesville has all three and a building site ready to go. And our commitment is to get a company into the ground and construction as fast as possible with our shovel-ready certified sites, with our permitting program. We've been very impressed with the leadership in Janesville. They've uh, gone out of their way to show us how uh, a new manufacturing plant would, would work really well in Janesville. Shine plans to make a decision on where to build by the end of summer. They hope to have the plant up and running in a couple years.